the hooves of the indian cows are small in size and rare the dung is used which has a pleasant smell and not foul odor like the western like the western cow so this particular you can feel the surya ketu nadi of any pure zebu cattle indian hemp cow when you move your fingers through the backbone starting from the hump you should be able to feel a small cavity on the backbone denoting the nerve this nadi causes all secretions of purity whether it is milk of ur- or urine or cow dung the nadi absorbs energy from the sun and the universe as per our ancient ayurvedic text written by our seers on a western or hybrid cow backbone will be visible there will be no hump like that on the western cow so all desh bhakt indian should honor the proud gear herders of gujarat for resisting western stooch kurian vargis thank god for the a2 temple bulls which are still alive which the soulless communist fin ministers and the lobbied up christian ministers have not been able to kill what type of immoral westerners will advise india to kill their a2 bulls while they themselves are converting their a1 bulls to the a2 grade so my dear friends there is lot to say magnesium there are so many calcium magnesium there are all these critical you know elements which are needed for the body which are present in a2 milk so what happens different nutri mutations in bone so this polymorphism what we are doing cross leads to a key confir- conformational change in the secondary structure of expressed beta kz proteins so it's a long article but let it make it short that a1 milk casein sustains endometriosis so many wrong diseases are produced in the body every indian must know that a1 milk of the humpless western cow will kill them prematurely this is the milk you get in supermarkets and from cooperative societies they must get this new across to their loved ones as well as their well wishers get this news to everybody grace and peace will prevail in india only when we stop this indian cow slaughter and help the indian bulls to rejuvenate and not have cross breeding but to give this pure a2 milk to these cows through our indian breeds like the thar parker like the gear like so many indian breeds we have around 70 breeds almost 50 40 of them are gone we have only 20 25 breeds remaining let's nurture them let's for our young generation for the generation to come our own children let us do this pledge that let us consume only a2 milk and only when this a2 milk is consumed and the cows are stopped from slaughter the cows will stop for slaughter when there is some production of money from them so let's give that money to our farmers and these cow breeders who are doing great seva i know one which is sure patmeda goshala which is present in rajasthan one person even at the loan of 8 crores is maintaining these 1 and 1/2 lakh indian bred cows there i myself consume that milk and let me tell you very clearly and very frankly nothing is as better as that nothing so nutritious let us give our children a better future please thank you very much